There was a time when we would use things like the radio to listen to music in our homes or send each other telegrams to communicate. With the advent of modern technology, both these everyday gadgets have become pretty much obsolete. But let's contemplate what other pieces of technology we use every single day that is slowly becoming obsolete. Let's have a look. Portable hard disks. Data storage capability is something we use every day on our digital devices. However, with internet speeds, specifically the upload speeds, are getting faster than ever. There may come a time when things like portable hard drives or portable solid state drives for that matter and other things of such single function storage solution may just become obsolete in favor of cloud storage or just carry that data on the phone or other multi-purpose multi-function devices. Android phones for example can already upload images to Google Photos automatically where you can have terabytes of data compared to extremely limited options we were used to previously when internet speeds reach a level when uploading large files to cloud is as fast as copying them to a USB stick today then the concept of portable storage drives may it be flash drives or portable mechanical hard drives will all become pretty much obsolete credit cards cash has in many cases become obsolete already. This is mainly thanks to the success of concepts like credit card and debit cards. With these cards, you don't need to take out cash to make any kind of payment. All you need to do is your credit card to be swiped or tapped and the amount owed will automatically be transferred to the seller's account. The mammoth technology involved in running the credit card network as a whole is an underrated marvel of modern technology. It's a whole other topic for another video. At the user's end of credit card system is the card itself, which comes equipped with a number of built-in technologies such as the magnetic strip or the NFC EMV chip, to name a few. However, even this technology is slowly going through its own shift. We are already seeing the process of credit cards becoming obsolete in the markets like China thanks to mobile payment systems like WeChat. In the United States, digital payment platforms like Apple Pay and Google Pay are also becoming increasingly popular. Smartphones have, of course, made this extremely convenient. Today, you don't even need to carry your wallet around. All you really need is your smartphone and you'll be able to make any kind of payment with ease. So the physical card attached to your account will become obsolete as soon as mass population decides it's time to do so. The tech behind it has been ready for years now. On a separate note, it is now also plausible to say that fiat currency as a whole may also disappear in favor of digital currencies. As El Salvador has already become the first nation to make that move. Physical keys. This is an interesting one. Keys are an essential component of your house, your car, and many other things we use every day. At the same time, they seem like an extremely outdated technology. Fun fact. It is said that keys were invented as far back as 6th century BC, where affluent Roman people would wear a key around their neck as a status symbol, indicating that this person has such wealth that it is secured using this fancy lock and key. Using traditional key might just fall out of fashion in the very near future as they're replaced with much more futuristic piece of tech. Keyless access to a car is not a new concept, however, it is the mass adoption of the technology that will see the old car keys gone in the near future. In one of my previous video, I have already reviewed a smart door lock. The conclusion there was that the keyless entry to your house is a massive improvement in convenience. The door of the house should grant access to me and my family or my friends if I want them to. And a smart lock plays that part so seamlessly that it becomes second nature. Just walk up to the door and touch the fingerprint scanner and open the door. Easy. 
the key in its simplicity has survived the test of time and it will endure a bit more but will fade away from center stage as the other tech replaces it. Standalone GPS devices. There was a time when GPS navigators were this crazy new technology that would guide you to a destination with digital map turn by turn guidance in real time. But now you probably wouldn't even think twice about such a technology, let alone spend a lot of money to buy one. This is once again because of smartphones. These days almost every single smartphone in the market, even cheap ones that you can get for like a few hundred dollars, have all the functionalities of a GPS device and more on top with added features. Apps like Google Maps and Apple Maps fetches information as needed so generally presents up-to-date information. GPS devices sales has been hitting new lows every single year. There are some very niche applications for standalone GPS devices with specific kinds of data loaded into it that Google or Apple Maps do not readily provide. Other than that, this once popular consumer electronic device is all but obsolete. Honorable mentions. The calculator. Textbooks. Optical discs like CDs and DVDs and Blu-rays. These are also on their way out. Last item I'd like to discuss is the 3.5mm jack. When Apple took out the headphone jack from the iPhone 7, it was quite a controversial decision. Bluetooth headphones just weren't as popular back then as it is now, of course, goes without saying. With the passage of time, Bluetooth technology has gone through iterations, as has headphones and earphones. Their battery can now last for days with just half an hour of charging and on top of all that, they've become a trend. AirPods and other Bluetooth headphones have become a sort of status symbol and as a result, their sales have skyrocketed. As Bluetooth headphones become even more popular with companies removing the headphone jacks from even more phones and gadgets, the use of wired headphones might just become obsolete in the very near future and with it the 3.5mm jack. Not the 6.5mm jack though. They have some life left in them. The 6.5mm jacks are not everyone's cup of tea, but musicians are happily comfortable using them. All of my electric guitars plug in with a 6.5mm jack. Even this rudimentary mixer has plenty of provision for 6.5mm jacks. And Apple does not make anything that has anything to do with 6.5mm jacks. So they can't really take out what they never really put in in the first place, right? I thought about talking about a fiber optic technology will not receive mass adoption, which is sad. Politicians messed it up uh, to some extent. The details I have covered in another video, somewhat funny that one. Also, if you are into properties, check out my second channel, Property Technical. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, you take care of yourself.